What can I say? Life is confusing, and there apparently is no manual for life. But there is something that I've found hidden beneath the surface of this existence. And I'd say that men need the most help. We need help. We need to figure ourselves out faster. And I think that sometimes we don't realize what it is that puts us into the places we find ourselves. Now the best way for men to understand the power of following a spiritual cycle, which women are naturally gifted by the universe, we men only have 24 hour cycles, but a woman's on average is 28 days. What do I mean by a man's cycle? Well, our, you know, while you're sleeping, your testosterone builds, and by 8 a.m., it's peaking, and then it begins to wane. And then by about 7 to 9 p.m., according to the average person's day cycle, you know, day and night cycle, we end up with our lowest depleted testosterone. Now, I'm sure, hopefully, you've looked into what the other side, what women experience. Believing already that you understand the cycle of the woman, breaking it down into four stages is the best way to outline this. The basic practice would begin at the beginning of a month. Be a good way to start. The first five days, practice self-examination. Is there some part of yourself you want to change? Something you want to add? Something you want to take away? Think about that. Look at yourself. Put the universal mirror to yourself. Spend those first five days reflecting. Using, say, meditative practices to open yourself up to seeing yourself. And then stage two, the next seven days, dwell positively on the change you wish to see. You have to make up your mind within those first five days. By the end, by the beginning of the sixth day, you have to decide what it is you want to think about that will be changed, that will appear differently in your world. Create a vision and hold on to that. And then the next three days, the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th days, stage three, act as though the change is real. Assume it. You have to not just decide the thought and the idea that you want to embody, but you have to actually walk and speak the feeling of it. And you can't do this by preparing for it. You have to just do it. No matter how feeble that walk might be, or how fallible those, the speech might be, you have to assume it. Don't let the negativity that has been programmed in our minds of, oh, every time you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. No. It's time we break out of those patterns. And then the last 13 days, 16 to the 28th day, let fertilization take place within your mind, within the ether around you. Meditate, not like you did at stage two, not a vision, or not like stage one, where you had to look at yourself. But now when you look at yourself, you see the change. You use step two correctly. But here in the fourth stage, you have to believe, you have to have faith. 
We begin as the myth of making a wish at a new moon and letting it be fertilized, letting it be fulfilled by the full moon. And those are the four stages that you have to follow. To sum it up, you have five days to self-examine yourself. You have seven days to create a vision. You have three days to assume three days of grace period to change, to see yourself differently. You've put enough time into that vision and see yourself changed. And then you have 13 days, stage four, to believe in yourself, to have faith in yourself. And just as the wish was made at the new moon, by this full moon, the wish of your changed true self will be fulfilled. Good luck. So men, listen up. You need to take one month or 28 days to create a spiritual practice for yourself to experience not only the cycle of nature and life around you, but the rhythm of the universe. If you enjoy my content, especially the true unexplained short stories, please feel free to support my work by purchasing the ebook available right now just for you on Amazon Kindle. Check it out.